Oh, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, 19th of June 2017, the end of day market wrap. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, where do we stand? Let's look at stats and let's look at the end of day uh, market action. In Europe, the FTSE 100 finishes up 60 points. The uh, DAX at uh, 136, very impressive, retesting those highs. The French CAC higher as well on the back of obviously the Macron victory, uh, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly. And uh, the FTSE MIB as well and the IBEX. Okay. Uh, in terms of uh, fundamentals, let's just quickly run through fundamentals. There were very little far between in terms of the real market moving events. Uh, obviously, the market, given the fact that it focused on the, the uh, Japanese imports stronger than expected, Asian markets higher overnight as well. Uh, US equities pushing to new highs now, uh, certainly all uh, coming into a potential risk on uh, phase. The uh, construction data out of the European Union certainly came in more or less in line, nothing spectacular. And Mr. Weedman, again, is hawkish nature again. Uh, I think really the focus of Mr. Dudley's uh, rhetoric as well, given the fact that it sent the Euro USD back down to a 1.150 handle. Okay, but nevertheless, uh, the focus really does remain on the uh, US equities hitting new highs thus far with the S&P and the Dow certainly breaking to new highs, but the Nasdaq certainly lagging. So that certainly is a cause for concern. So bear that in mind. Mr. Dudley was certainly hawkish. Okay, so again, that's risk negative should certainly be interpreted as being risk negative, but the market certainly isn't uh, obviously reacting to it accordingly. So let's see exactly where we are technically. Uh, in terms of tomorrow, let's just quickly give a rundown into tomorrow's economic events uh, that will be of any importance. Uh, you have uh, German consumer P PPI data, so inflation data out tomorrow morning, keep an eye on that. RBA meeting or RBA minutes overnight, so again, that will be interesting. Keep an eye on, on that. Mr. Carney's speech, again, will be market moving at half eight in the morning. So uh, if you are trading the FTSE tomorrow, bear that in mind. Take that into consideration. Uh, Mr. SMB Jordan's speech as well. Uh, the uh, Switzerland uh, National Bank. So again, that's going to be interesting in terms of CHF. So keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, European current account uh, will be interesting. See where we stand in terms of the uh, stronger euro, whether it's affecting exports, imports. Uh, the uh, Mr. Fan Stanley Fisher speaking tomorrow again, that will have an impact on the dollar and the US current account. Again, it'll be interesting to see where we stand in terms of Mr. Trump's so called growth and reflation trade. Red Book Index and then the global dairy auction that will be interesting to see where demand is for the dairy industry. And then you have Mr. Kaplan speaking in API data as well. So, nothing really first tier other than the fact that uh, you have Mr. Carney really. And uh, you have two central bank, three central bank speakers tomorrow. So it should be interesting in those currency pairs. Keep an eye out for them. OK, now in terms of uh, the uh, technicals for the European market, let's bring that up for you. German DAX hitting that double top daily chart as well. Double top. So again, uh, the topping tail that was put in on the uh, 14th certainly has been negated thus far. OK, so keep an eye on that 10 minute chart of the uh, German DAX again double top. We have one fill gap below. Well, one fill gap is at 12,750. So you are now 150 points away from that. You also have another gap below at 12,690. So, from my perspective, it certainly remains vulnerable. That's all I can uh, interpret it as. It certainly remains vulnerable. Now, the MDAX 50 as well, uh, just bringing up that index, which is quite important. Certainly did push off. We had this HS formation top, but it has been negated thus far. Okay, you still have an unfilled gap left behind here, but you are looking at it being exhausted on the MDAX 50. Now, what's interesting in the, is that we started to make lower lows and lower highs, and all of a sudden we, we, we certainly reverse on a V-shape, which is interesting. Okay, this happens constantly over and over again. Okay, 60-minute chart as well on the uh, the actual uh, German tech sector. You are coming into gap fill resistance, and therefore you are coming into weakness. Okay, you certainly did hold that double bottom. Again, I mean, you high hit that high, you put in a lower high, and then you'd expect a lower low, and that wasn't the case. We, we had a reshaped recovery. So, once again, very interesting. Okay, moving on to the French CAC now. Again, the daily chart certainly slap bang into resistance at that upper level at uh, 5330. Uh, you are seeing resistance there. 60 minute chart, horizontal resistance, certainly putting a bearish engulfing candle towards the close. And you have the uh, unfilled gaps left behind. So the first gap is seen at 23, 
uh, sorry, 52.63, and you'll see another gap at 52.17. So those two need to keep an eye, uh, certainly be kept an eye on in terms of potentially closing below. FTSE 100, certainly defiant today. Again, uh, daily chart still remains buried for me. Okay, still held up 75%. Fair upper body is around 7545 on the weekly as well. Okay, so again, looking for weakness on this uh, daily chart. 60 minute chart, you have horizontal resistance at 7540. And therefore, looking for risk aversion, looking for the market to move lower. 10 minute chart at present, you certainly seem to have made some type of base around the 7495. We really need that to crack in order to open the gap fill at uh, 7465. And then obviously, you've got gap fill below at 7420. Now, given the uh, uncertainty regarding the election, uh, also, given the uncertainty regarding Brexit talks, given the uncertainty regarding Greenfell, also another terrorist incident overnight at a potential mosque. I mean, all those factors put together, you have got London incident on the bridge and then the Manchester incident at MEN. All those factors put together, adding the fact that there is talk over the weekend with regards to uh, uh, Theresa May, potential no confidence vote, potentially giving her 10 days and her own party is unhappy with her going forward, etc, etc, and her own potential future is certainly under uh, under a microscope all those factors together would would certainly indicate a lower FTSE and that hasn't been the case so political uncertainty certainly ignored altogether also with regards to oil prices languishing still at the 44 we've dropped uh, again from 45 down to 44.4 so again a lot of bearish arguments and yet this market certainly ignoring also we had situation with potential three Iranian uh, soldiers being captured by the Saudis Iranians firing into Syria uh, also, um, Russians uh, complaining about a, a jet that was shot down by the US and saying that they'll retaliate now if any further of the escalations take place. And it certainly is uh, oblivious. Uh, this market really is impressive with the S&P breaking to new highs, uh, Dow breaking to new highs, even with uh, Miss Yellen's hawkish uh, stance last week. Market continues to uh, uh, certainly puzzle and surprise us all. Okay. On that note, Please watch for further weakness. From my perspective, if the German DAX holds resistance, uh, then you are looking for further weakness in the FTSE, and you are looking for risk aversion to kick in. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus, and be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.